Don't let him have it till he goes. We're really looking to see if, indeed, meeting a dog once a week when a child comes in for chemotherapy can decrease the stress and anxiety that the child and family experience. Because, you know, we, over 13,000 children are diagnosed every year with cancer. And that's a lot of kids. It's not a well-known fact that kids indeed get cancer, just like adults do. But if we can find a way to make it less stressful for those children to, when they come into the hospital, um, we're really wanting to do that. So we developed this study in, in collaboration with the American Humane Association. They really kind of organized the study. And Vanderbilt was the first site to actually have uh, participants in the study, in the, in the large study. We began in January. All the dogs are certified by pet partners. We actually have physiological measures, pulse and blood pressure, of the children before the time with the dog. We call it an intervention, but the time with the dog. And they spend about 15 minutes with the dog each week. Then after the time with the dog, we give the child a state trait anxiety inventory, just asking them questions like, are you sad? Are you worried? Are you happy? And the child responds by a lot, a little bit, not at all. And for the very young children, we use a sad face and a happy face to kind of help them. We also ask the parents the same questions. We really hope to find out that um, time with the dog decreases stress and anxiety for all of the family.